Anyway, let's do this. Okay. What's up guys? Ink Forceman here. So, first video. Shoulders. I call them the big five. Like, I usually only do these five and then I have like an exception here or there. Shoulder press with the dumbbells. Then I did shoulder press with the bar. I did straight arm raises with the bar. I did... What's the other one that I did? Uh, upright row, that upright row. And then basically like, uh, just like, what do you call this? Eh? Oh. Anyways, you'll, you'll see when I do it in the video, okay? Um, but anyways, those are the five that I did. Um, I did drop sets. So basically what that means is I started with a weight that was heavy enough for me to only reach eight reps on the first set. So I basically took as much as I could and tried to reach eight reps. Okay. So for me that was about 46 pounds. Okay. So I started with the 46 pounds. Then with the drop sets, you want to do five sets because the, the purpose of it is to really like tire out the muscle. You want to really stretch the muscle. Okay. So I did five sets, started with the 46 pounds. Then second set, you drop 10% um, of the weight of each set. Okay. So I started with the 46, then I went to uh, 42. Yeah, went to 42. Um, after that, dropped another like five pounds and dropped another five pounds. But you'll see in the video now uh, where I show you guys, like really, you need to focus on when you go down. Okay, so you don't want to like do it like really like quickly because obviously, okay, that is that is um, good for like explosive work and stuff. But for the purpose at hand here, you want to really contract the muscle. Okay. So you really want to focus on your shoulder and something that you guys need to focus on is okay well I did it wrong when I started doing the shoulder press okay so when you sit on the bench eh? when you sit on the bench don't don't put the bench like straight okay because like when you do that you you arch your back so you so you do like this so you, you do this so then you basically you're assisting your shoulders with your back and that's gonna take like a lot of strain off of your shoulders and it's gonna make you obviously grow less. So what I do is, and Bradley Martin gave me this tip, so also go check out his videos and his channel. Um, so basically what I did, what I saw him do is, he shifts a little bit um, forward in his, in his seat so that he, his back arches like a little bit like to the front, like this. So he's not like this, so he's like this. And this position really helps you to focus on only using your shoulders when you do the when you do the dumbbell press. Okay. Um, so yeah, just slide a little bit forward in your seat so that you don't use your back. Okay. If it means you have to go slightly lighter in weight um, than you normally do, it's fine. Just concentrate on only using your shoulder when you do the press. Okay. Then second exercise you'll see now is the uh, barbell press okay barbell shoulder press now this one this one's really nice because it, it works your triceps as well which is a good thing but you can really focus a lot more on form because you but you're using both your arms and we you know we all know using both your arms you can lift more weight so but it really helps you to focus on the form so you wanna you'll see in the video now you want to get the bar to like about like your nose length because you don't want to go too far down because you also then use your back and your chest to assist you so you basically want to get like to like about here just just below 90 degrees so that you only press you only press with your shoulder because as soon as you go down here you activate your your pecs like you activate your chest so you want to go down till about here and then uh, press it but you guys will see in the video now um how i do it and for this exercise same thing, drop sets, you start with a weight that you can do about like eight reps with, maybe nine, uh, but really push yourself. 
so then you drop 10 percent second set then you drop 10 percent again and some days you know you'll you'll see you'll feel good so you can do the first set with a with a weight and get to like nine reps then the second set you'll get to nine reps again and like the third set maybe you'll get to nine reps again and then only the fourth set you'll be like okay then you drop 10 percent but really like you need to pick a weight that you that tenth one you can't get up you know or the eighth or the ninth one you can't get up so really focus on on that and don't think don't go like so heavy that you know your form gets really bad and because form is just as important in growing your muscle than it is to go heavy okay so contracting the muscle focusing on one body part at a time is a what's going to give you the most results and that's what we want we want you know the quickest results so yeah that's a really nice one so by now your shoulders should be feeling like they should be feeling quite tired you know because you've used you know the bulk of them third exercise you'll see now is the upright row okay so find a EZ bar and throw on like okay so I did What's that? What's that? What's that? Is it bar? The loose one. How much weight was that? 20. 20. I think 20. No, 15. No, 15. So like, so that was probably like 30, 30 odd pounds plus another like 20, 30, 20, 20. So it's about 70 pounds. Okay. Make like it's like 75 pounds. Um. So yeah, with this, focus on the form as well. Don't lift with your back as well. Okay. When you stand, like, like when you're standing, move your feet so that you don't, they're not right next to each other. Move, put the one in front of the other one so you can really get like balance. And then focus on like contracting your back. So basically just like pull back your shoulder blades, okay? Because that will help you to focus on only moving your shoulder. So when you do that, you get up here and it's really important to get your elbows really high because that is gonna contract the muscle a lot more than you just doing like this, okay? So you want to get it up, you wanna get it up high, okay? Because like just, if you're sitting there watching the video, just do this and then do this. You can feel your muscle like flexing or working a lot harder, okay? So really focus on that and then key point guys, when you do this, Take your thumbs off because when you have your thumbs on, when you're holding the, the bar like this, okay, you tend to lift with your forearms because your thumb engages your forearms, okay. So don't lift like this because you're gonna lift with your forearms. You're gonna lift with this part of your arm. Take your th thumbs off, put it on the other side of the bar. So you basically hold it like this. Okay, you'll see in the video now. Um, like really put a lot of emphasis on this. So you wanna only lift with your shoulders, okay? So you wanna really, really be stable in your upper body and only lift your shoulder. So if you do swing a little bit because it's a heavy weight on sets one, two, and maybe three, it's fine. Don't swing too much, but that little bit of assistance is needed. So yeah, really nice exercise because that really works on like the shaping of your, like the outer part of your shoulder, okay? You know shoulder gains so fourth exercise is the straight bar raises so yeah you just take straight bar 45 pounds you um, also again put your one foot in front of the other just like a little bit and really you'll see now in the exercise that I do keep your arms like interlocked keep them straight at all times okay Really focus on that, focus on the movement, okay, contracting the, uh, the shoulder, like I said before. Contract the shoulder, yes you are going to swing a little bit here because you're moving a weight in a, like, in a way that you wouldn't usually move something in the, in the normal world, but it really helps with that, with like the V that your shoulder makes, okay. So like this bottom part, it really helps that grow. So yeah. Straight on, focus again, take your thumbs off, because if you do this, you lift with this part of your arm, 
Don't do that because you're going to lose out on the shoulder gains. Take your thumbs off and really try and throw the weight up into your hands when you go up. So like try and throw it and then like almost like catch it at the same time, if you know what I mean. Don't, I almost don't want to say like don't lift the weight, like try and like throw it. And important, whenever you do something with shoulders, try and get the outer part of your hand going up. Like not flat, like try and get it like going up because then you, you get the flex in your shoulder. Okay. Lastly, the one we call name, name. the nameless one. Um, yeah, let's just call it like shoulder flies. Whatever you'll see in the video now. Just watch the exercise. So this really is a super super good exercise to end off with because you're gonna use basically your whole shoulder. You're gonna use the front delt, the rear delt. You're gonna get the little V going there. Everything is included here. So. Important in this exercise, you want to get your arms going out in front of you, okay? You don't really want to do this. Like, this is also a good exercise, but here you, you're focusing a little bit more on the back. And as you guys can see from the, the other exercises that I do, I'm a little bit more front delt orientated, okay? So, get the your elbows out in front, okay? And important here is your elbows should be going, try and get them higher higher than your hands are. Not like a lot, not like like this. Just like a little bit. So you want to go up and there. Up and there. Okay. Again, try and take off your thumbs. If it's uncomfortable, then it's fine. Then use your normal grip. Um, doesn't really have a massive effect on this exercise. But important to remember with this exercise as well is you are going to swing a little bit because the weight is coming from down and you need to control the weight down so your body automatically does like goes like forward to control the weight but then don't use your body going forward to get the weight back up so don't once you've gone forward now get the weight going up again by moving your, your body backwards okay so when you've gone down stabilize and then go stabilize go stabilize okay and try and get your pinkies pointing upwards okay Try and get them above the rest of your hand. So yeah, that was my shoulder routine, guys. There are a lot of uh, other shoulder exercises that you could be doing, that you probably are doing. But as I said, this is uh, for this video, these are the ones that I concentrated on. These are the ones that I'm really doing to help me with my front delts. So yeah, that's, that's it for this routine. Next, coming up is chest day all want a good chest you know ladies love the, the pictorial muscle so check it out please um, probably be up in like a week's time from from this video and please go check out the introductory the introductory video which will be here or here I don't know whichever side I added but go check it out and then subscribe which will be down here, down here, okay. Click this button. And like, like on the corner. And button. like, like should be there. Okay, so like it like, no man, you can't like it on the... <laughs> 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 you need to like it, okay. Whatever, you guys, you guys know where to like it. Just go like it, please. Um, I think our food is yeah. burning. We put food in because we're gonna go grow big and strong now. So we're gonna eat now, but anyways, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like it. If you don't like it, then, you know, I don't know, whatever. Take it or leave it. It's there to help you. You know why this channel was created. It's to motivate you, it's to give you in extra information. I'm not here to show you how my physique uh, looks. I'm not here to show you how my body looks, you know. I'm not here to like be like, hey guys, you know, try and look like me. because. I don't even look like how I want to look it. So, focus point here is let's grow. Boom!